Every Elden Ring player needs an arsenal of weapons to take on the plethora of enemies in this game. And whether you just started on your journey or you haven't been able to put the game down, these eight weapons are sure to help you out on your adventures in Elden Ring. Sword of Night and Flame. Easily the coolest name on this list and the trickiest to get. You want to head to the main Karia Manor gate, make your way inside the manor and traverse up the rocks. Head up the steps and follow the path until you get to this corner where you'll want to jump down. Jump down again and you'll find a ladder. At the bottom of this ladder, you'll find a chest with the sword of night and flame. Uchi Gatana. This one is very simple. Head to the detached catacombs in Limgrave. Head inside, hang a left, and this katana will be waiting for you on the dead body. The Shamshir, waiting for you in the High Road Cave, which is next to the detached catacombs where you find the Uchi Katana. Once here, you'll want to traverse all the way down the cave. Make sure to watch your step and find the waterfall. Traverse down the waterfall and the Shamshir will be waiting on a platform, but be careful as it will be guarded. The Tree Spear. Another fairly simple weapon to get, in theory that is. Head to Liernia Highway South, hop on your mount and follow the road until you find the broken bridge. There, you'll want to search the chest inside the carriage, but watch out as the big dude doesn't enjoy you trying to steal from him. The Crystal Sword. For this beauty of a weapon, you'll want to head to the village of Albanarix in Liernia. Once there, head across the wooden bridge and this sword will be waiting for you by a dead body on the cliffside. The Ivory Sickle. Located in the same village where you get the Crystal Sword, 
You'll want to head opposite of the wooden bridge and up the hill to a house. At the back of the house is a coffin. Pillage the remains and the ivory sickle is yours. The Clinging Bone Another weapon that starts in the village of Albanarix. There's a strange looking pot right next to where you get the ivory sickle. Attack the pot and you'll find Albus just kinda hiding inside. Talk to him and he'll give you half of a medallion. Once you acquire this, head to the round table hold and defeat your invader to get the Clinging Bone. The Karian Glintstone Staff. Head to the Karian Study Hall in Liurnia. Once inside, head up the lift and then up the stairs all the way to the top where the staff will be waiting for you. 